I really want to start with a sincere. This is one of my favorite films of the year. Great. Uh, I can't say enough good things, and that's all I have. Um, I have a fantastic day. No. <laughs> um, I, I'm curious. So you'd obviously never made a film before, yeah. never worked on anything like this. Nope. So what actually surprised you about making like a big Hollywood movie? I mean, every, literally everything was was a surprise to me. I didn't know anything about it. Like the fact that you film things out of order, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that you have marks that you have to hit on the ground, the eye lines with the camera, all of that stuff was just crazy new to me. I didn't know what I was doing. And I guess all I really had to fall back on was just, you know, the acting experience I had in high school and trying to translate that into this film experience. What was, I want to ask specifically about the filming out of order. Mm. What is it like, or was it easy for you to like, um, you know, get, you're filming something maybe in the third act on day one, yeah. beginning a first act on day two, mm. and emotionally trying to figure out where you are in the story. Can you sort of talk about that? Totally. Yeah. And I mean, that, you know, every every night before uh, you go to bed, that's kind of the process that I found myself going through was just keeping tabs on where we are in the story and and making sure I can be in the right headspace for, for where I need to be the next day. And maybe for Paul and Divine, it was just quicker for them and easier to, to, to snap into that. But I really found that I had to take the time to, to make sure I knew where we were, you know, every day. Uh, Paul is one of my favorite actors. He's just phenomenal. Mm -hmm. So I'm imagining that first day of filming and the first week you you are studying that guy, mm. just figuring out what is he doing? How can I mimic this? Did you do that? And what did you actually take away from watching him and the rest of the cast that you sort of, you know, brought to yourself and helped your performance? Mm. Yeah, I think with Paul, uh, obviously knowing his work and, and I've seen him see, in, in everything he's done in the past, but finally being on set with him, just watching how him and also Divine, the way they take notes uh, and the way they're able to respond to what Alexander is asking for um, and just the little the little tricks that they use with, with the camera and th their awareness. And that those are the things that I was taking notes on. You know, I mean, obviously, when you're in the scene focusing, you, you have to be in it. But that was, it was, you know, film school for me and, and acting school, really just watching them in their scenes and I could stay back and experience that. It's so special. What day of the shoot did you maybe get more used to a camera being right in front of you? Mm -hmm. Or was it always like, wait, there's a huge camera right here? <laughs> uh, I I don't know if I ever got like used to it, you know, but I guess I felt most comfortable. Yeah, there was 50 days total, maybe by day 48, 49 or <laughs> something. I, I was feeling a little bit better about it. But no, I was, I was always aware of it. And you know, Alexander thinks I was, you know, had such an easy time, but no, it was definitely some nerves for sure. Yeah. And specifically nerves. So it's the night before the first day of filming. Did you sleep five minutes or three minutes? <laughs> uh, maybe four and a half somewhere. Yeah. There. Yeah. But uh, no, I actually got good sleep that night. I f felt a weird sense of tranquility going into this whole process. I mean, I had met everybody. I had, you know, met the writer and met Alexander. I, I knew you know, what was kind of ahead of me at this point. And it was really just about finally trusting myself, you know, and I think in those final weeks where I finally got cast in the movie, I found a place where I trusted myself and was able to go in with confidence. When you saw the shooting schedule, you must, did you circle a day on the shoot and say, this is going to be a really effing hard day or, oh my God, I can't wait to film this. I think Yes, the scene with where I see my dad in the hospital, I think is the, w one of those scenes that was hard to prepare for because, you know, you, I had gotten a chance to meet the actor uh, who plays my father over Zoom. But, you know, you have this idea of who this person is. You know, you're building this backstory. Who is my dad? What is that relationship like? And then a lot of that kind of gets thrown out the window when you meet the person on the day and you're, you're actually seeing them for the first time. And you have to troubleshoot, you know, what you've created in your mind and what they're now bringing to you. You know, so, so that was a challenging one. But Definitely a rewarding scene for sure. I've spoken to a lot of people, uh, a lot of actors, and they talk about uh, there's no right way to deliver emotion, an emotional scene because everyone is so unique. Mm -hmm. So I'm just curious, when you're playing an emotional scene, mm -hmm. are you the night before thinking about exactly how you want to play it? Or do you sort of find it, or did you find it like in the moment of the scene? Yeah, I think when it, when it comes to 
to those emotions that you, you're trying to elicit naturally, you, you really have to rely on what's coming in that moment, you know, and, and anything you try to think about or prepare for, it's the audience isn't going to buy that, you know, so uh, whether or not you cry is, you know, not really important, just as long as it's real, you know, as long as it's true. Um, and then you know, that's just an example of what people like to use. But I, that's kind of how I feel about it. It's just going in willing to receive from your other actors, other performers. I know that you've probably talked about it a lot, but getting cast in this must have been an adventure. Mm. And I'm just curious, at what point in the casting process did you actually think, wait a minute, I might be <laughs> getting this? <laughs> I think um, the first time I met Paul over Zoom, I thought uh, th this might work out because Sure. I, I, yeah, I didn't I didn't know, you know, I had a hard time early on seeing myself in the role. It was originally scripted for a younger student. So I had a hard time, you know, a lot of the process I was trying to play younger and that just wasn't working. And, you know, I just didn't really fully see it until I was able to read with Paul and, and receive from him and, and get, you know, his perception of, of the script and all of that, where I was like, yeah, I this makes sense now. I can see myself doing this. And I think from that point is, yeah, I really just was able to hit the ground running. So I believe you were at boarding school mm. where you were discovered. Mm. Um, were you, because obviously you have your own personal experiences at a boarding school. Yeah. Uh, were you able to add any of that or did you suggest to Alexander, hey, we're missing this. You, can we <laughs> maybe play with this? Um, well, nothing major, no, but there was little things. I mean, uh, for example, Paul and I, in the script that it originally had called the teachers professors, and Paul and I, both of us having been to boarding schools, we were like, they're not called professors. <laughs> they need to be called teachers or instructors even. So it was, you know, little things like that that, you know, Paul and I definitely had an awareness of and could relate to certain things that Alexander couldn't. I believe you are, and I could be wrong, uh, studying at Carnegie Mellon? Yeah, I'm taking a leave of absence this year, but I, I was able to do my freshman year last year and a little bit of the, the fall term this year. Yeah, I was going to ask, um, are you, this has to be weird for you, like going out and talking about, are you enjoying <laughs> the talking about like the movie and sort of, you know what I mean? Or yeah. sort of like a little weird to sit in a room all day and just <laughs> sort of, you know what I mean? It is weird, yeah. I mean especially because it happened a year and a half, almost two years ago now. So you're, you know, remembering all these things and going back in time a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's it's just exciting it generally. I think I'm just grateful for it. And I just have to keep reminding myself of that is, you know, whenever I feel like overwhelmed or like I'm losing my mind a little bit, I just have to be grateful, you know, for what's going on, you know? Totally. I will also say like the next few weeks for you are probably the most important just because this is when Hollywood sees the movie mm. and when casting agents will see it. Mm. And, you know, it's like, it's like being in front of every casting agent right. without actually taking a meeting. Totally. Yeah. And I mean, I, you know, I'd love to keep doing movies. I'd love to keep acting. And if I, you know, get well received and I get more opportunities, that's that's incredible. I, I, I love doing this stuff, really. On that note, um, seriously, congratulations. Great movie. <laughs> uh, good luck with the rest of your speed dating. Thank you so much.